Hello, welcome to the first like lecture of this series where we are going to mostly discuss about NLP, LLMs, and so on. So mostly regarding this, this is going to be a very long, long course. And the main thing today we are going to do a small introduction, not much. So let's go through the introduction the book that i am following for the whole course and like a reference book which you can take is this book called introduction to large language models by tanmay chakraborty sir from iit he's from iit delhi if i'm not wrong so if you want you can buy this book and study this instead of doing this course as well but yeah so the main objective of this course is to start from words to gpt as simple as that we will go to work to through everything in much 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 detail today is a very introductory class not much things to be done so yeah i think let's begin so the first thing that we are going to talk about is language like what is language language is basically nothing but like what can you call it as a medium so it's a medium between me and you so let's say a person a is there person b is there we use language to talk with each other if i speak a language l1 this person speaks a language l2 does not make sense like we wouldn't be able to converse right so language is a very important thing so the main thing that we are going to do is try to delve into what are language models like models that deal with language okay so simply like for example how can i do this let's say um i have a sentence let's say i ate no no let's i ate a apple and uh, an apple ate me okay so logically speaking the probability of this the probability of this let's say this probability is 0.3 so an apple eat me is not possible an apple can't can't eat me if it's like a very huge apple maybe like this may be the apple and this may be me and it's very angry and it is trying to eat me that is the case but it's improbable so it will have a lower probability let's say if i say something like eat apple and me this will have a much 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 lower probability because this is illogical this is illogical like grammar is violated so i feel like uh, language modeling base is on the fact that we try to predict which word is coming next or let's say we want to predict what is the probability that this sentence will happen so that's the base idea of like a language model i can per perceivably say right now so i ate an apple has higher probability and apple ate me lower probability so this is the most probable statement that can happen in language right so yeah so you can also break it down as in like you can break the statement down a bit so this is um like for example how can you break this down into a probability distribution per se like let's say p of i eight and apple okay so first you have to count what is the probability that there was an i the first statement should be i okay then what is the probability that the second word is eight followed by an i so the probability of eight follow such that i has already happened so if you don't know probability of x by y means something like this probability of x such that y has happened okay so uh p of 8i so then wait let me i think i have done a silly error so let's say p then what is the probability of an such that i and 8 has already happened finally into the probability of apple such that the probability of i 8 and has already happened so you can break this statement down in this form so these are all basic statements i'm not like mm, going in detail much much so these are all conditional probabilities individually if you know so uh yeah 
so this is like the mainly like how like models like gpt also work i can see this is like a very um like very basic idea i can say so mostly these probabilities are calculated and it predicts what the next word is okay in a very rough manner so this is not correct exactly but yeah so there is this this is for like the gpt version of models this this whole thing is something we called as next token prediction we'll go in much much detail later on but this is a very introductory class we predict the next token so these are called tokens so one word can be a to what is tokens will be covered later okay then um like we can then have something like a bert model so bert model use something called masked language modeling so um so what we do in masked language modeling is simple so instead of like predicting the next token we will kind of try to find the context okay so if that context is correct for not okay so earlier context is there let's say c1 and then you try to predict the next context is it correct or not there are many small small uh, things in that which will go in detail so there are many ways you can train a model you can get a language model per se so how did we actually find such things so initially we used to have something called statistical language statistical language models so these are the n gram models for example we'll go much much details later on we are not going in that much detail right now so yeah then we started having some neural language models so these were like for example uh, what to vec was one then rnns lstms these were the basic neural lms so these were like very old like 1970 to 2000 i guess Uh, neural lms were like 2000s to 2017 uh, i guess approximately and from 2017 onwards we have something called pre pre trained models okay pre trained lms okay what is pre trained lm for example um, bert bert is a pre trained lm so bert pre trained is simply like you have the model you the it's very shit right now you put data in and you try to uh get it to predict for example and you train it and you get the pre trained lm next we came up with in 2020 2019 sorry we came out with large language models or llms so these were very large in size so these were like gpt so these aren't large that much it's like for example gpt3 was done for example and uh, like even chat gpt was released that was i think chat gpt's first version that was publicly uh, very famous was gpt 3.5 then we started having instruction models instruction or let's say alignment this this field started growing so we had something called you will learn later is called rlhf which is like reinforcement learning from human feedback so and finally like we also now currently have multimodal models what is multimodal models which can perceive even like image speech with respect to text okay so this is like a rough journey or a history of how models kind of came out with now when you are training a model what is the right amount of data you might ask right this is the model this is the, what is the right amount of data is there a, like a specific ratio you should follow so this is where like something called the scaling laws came in so there is a very famous uh, open ai paper from 2020 uh, it was written by kaplan if i am not wrong and i don't remember the exact paper's name right now it, it defines the scaling laws which you can see so basically you can see for optimal performance you have to also consider three things basically you have to see the compute you have to see the data set size and the parameters of the model so you have to find a harmony in them and find the perfect way to scale so when you are scaling a model to higher parameters you have to scale with respect to both of them as well so 
that is the base idea like there is um, like for example like if you have a model let's say with the right amount of data right amount of data this is the right amount and let's say if you have a very 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 big model big model with the wrong amount of data this model will be much much better this one might might be might not be but like in most cases we have seen the right amount of data with a smaller model is much much better than a big model with very less amount of data or worse amount of data so that is the main thing like we have um, like mainly the thing is that the main issues that we discover one is wait sorry i was actually having something that copy pasted here so like first issue that can come is scaling how do you scale models like you need to find more by scaling you should find more data but if you don't have much data how do you scale models to trillions of parameters maybe so that's a thing that is a research area second thing can be how do you go about context length like okay so context length is simple let me just explain so let's say your model is here it has a fixed amount of context length as in the number of maximum tokens you can give it in the input tokens means consider tokens to be words right now okay tokens is equal to word so 128k words for example if this model has so how can i increase the using the same model how can i increase this to let's say 1 million uh, tokens so you have to worry about the context length as well another thing is with low resources like if you have low amount of data so low um, so as i said right big model with less data how can you work with this can you get less data and maybe make it work as good as the more data model you can uh, do that right so you can there are methods for low resource and everything so this is like the upar upar se and like very rough idea of what we are going to cover and at the end of the day i feel like this is going to be a long course so bear with me and let's hope this works out okay bye bye